Hey guys, welcome back. I'm coming on to do a layout for the Erica Rose Creates design team using a kit that is in her shop and a couple of goodies from her Close to My Heart shop. So I'm gonna use this Papaya Exclusive Ink because I thought it would go nicely with my goodies as well as this stamp called Charming Backgrounds, which apparently is D1990. Very nice. So that is the Close to the Heart close to my heart goodies. Now I've used this kit a couple of times, so not everything is still here, but I have got some die cuts from Pretty Little Studio Indian Summer. I have got some stickers from the Indian Summer collection as well. A little bit more die cuts from Indian Summer called Pumpkin Spice die cuts. The six by four pattern paper pack from the same collection. I've got a couple of scraps from that collection. Then I have this piece called Pumpkin Pie. And then I have two, oh, Pumpkin Pie, yep, it's single-sided. Then I have Cranberry Jello, which is a fabulous name. I have two of them. I've got some pre-cut gorgeous little strips, little die-cut strips. And then I have a cut file. It reads one fall day. So I thought that would be super fun to back. Now let me show you my photo. I've got this fine photo here of Mr. Mason and he is orangey and white. So perfect for fall. And yes, it was a fall walk just last year. So I am going to back this. I have a piece of white textured cardstock from my stash that I'm bringing in that I cut to 11 by 11 because I want to double map my layout because I just love doing that. So maybe, I don't know, which thing do we want to do? Okay, I'm going to mat my cut file so I have a little bit better of an idea of how I want to do a little bit of a kissing technique with my stamps. And by kissing technique, I think I am digging this one with the hearts because, you know, this is my boy. Let me get this fun little stamp. So, eek, it was really nice and sticky. So it's a bunch of hearts. So I think all I want to do with it, because I don't want them in squares on this one, although that would be a very cool layout, is I'm just going to go around my cut file areas and I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice kiss with the papaya ink. But I'm gonna wait for my cut file to be on here to do that technique. Let me get this cut file sorted out, I'll be right back. So I was taking a look-see at that technique and I like the way it's gonna come out. So what I think I'm gonna do, because my two background papers are rather similar, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice little inky border around them with my papaya ink. I think that's going to be my ticket. So let me get my little dauber a little bit of juice on it, as it were, just a little bit of a separation because my prints are similar. I have white on white, all that kind of thing. Look at how nice that color is. It's gonna be really good with this collection. And I did back my cut file, y'all. I love the cut files that Erica has in her shop. They're so easy to back. And I used all of the four by six cards. Isn't that cute? Oh gosh, I'm looking at it going, do I want it on that background or this one? But no, I want to do that little technique. So I just thought I'd show you what we have going on. So I have got my layers inked in and I want to go in and do a little bit of that kissy smoochy under my cut file section. So let's just make sure that my hearts are upright. So nye, nye, nye. smooch, 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 kind of like that. Oh, look, I have to trim right there where the L is. We'll do that in just a moment. I'm gonna go like this, kind of chuck this little guy and just do some cute smooching around the cut file area. I think that will be so cute. Oh, I want just a little bit more here where it's gonna peek under. Perfect. This really nice terracotta kind of a tone. So let me do that. Let me do this. And we can bring our cut file back over again. See if we feel like we need more or less or what not. Go like this. Nice little smoocheroo right there. 
And then I'm thinking just a little bit out here, a little down here, just little tiny bits for the rest. And that will be it for my stamping area. Cute. Just a little smoochy smooch. I always like like second generation stamping. So that's what I thought I would do with some of this leftover ink that's on here. All right, that's what we have for that. Lots of papaya ink on there. And I think it is so cute. Okay, so I am going to put my stamp pad to the side. I'm going to put this fab stamp set to the side. I love the hearts, they're so cute. And let me back my photo. I think I'm gonna go ahead and back the photo. I'm trying to move all of these cute things to the side. There we go. I have to trim this. Now I do have, let's see, these two colors, and I think they would be perfect to go ahead and map my photo. I also need, let's see if this is big enough. Perfect. I'm going to map my photo on a scrap of white cardstock on my two pattern papers, pop it up on a little foam, and I'll be back. So let's go ahead and get this cut file placed down. Now I only have adhesive, the backing off of the very top piece, because I find that if I take all of the backing off at once and I have to move something around, I end up running into just a little bit of trouble. And we don't want that now, do we? No. So let's place this over all of my inking little bits and thinking that's lined up pretty nicely. Then I'll go ahead and go back and peel this up and get the rest of the backing off. Now I think I'm gonna tuck my boy's photo under the cut file just a little bit. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. I know how boring it is to watch somebody take backing off. Oh, and big celebration, I used up the rest of this foam roll. That was a big deal. I know, I know, big deal. Okay, oh guys, I keep saying I have to cut off that little bit that's under the L and here we are. Thank goodness I don't have a lot of adhesive on the back piece right there. It just got left on there. I know. Here we go. Okay. Not a biggie. Now we have Mason. I went ahead and used some of our scraps and I double matted the photo. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking right about there because I like the amount of space. No, you know what? I wonder. This would be a situation where I could have thought of this ahead of time. If I can tuck this photo just a little bit more because there's a bunch of space that really isn't important on the photo. Just some bits from our commons area. There we go. All right, I really like that. He's included and I have about equal spacing on either side. Now, I've got die cuts. I've got some stickers. I've got some of these word flags and I did grab some of my fall flare from the Scrap and Happy Studio Shop. I have canvas flare. So I want to just, ooh, I definitely have to make sure to get some of the fall leafy bits in. And I was thinking about kind of creating a nice little leafy cluster around my photo, because why not? I love, I love that green tone. Love it. And maybe down here as well, we can recreate the same cluster. There we go. Love that. Ooh, I want it to stick up just a little tiny bit. Time together doesn't really work. I mean, I'm always with my boys. They are stage one clingers. Oh, pretty, pretty have some leafy bits sticking out there. I'm pretty much on the end of this kit, so I want to use as much as possible now of all of my pretty bits. Ooh, I can pop that up on a little bit of foam. Let's get this nice deep red tone that I can bring in there. And like I said, I'll pop up some pieces. Then this is leaving me 
just a little bit of these pretty leafy bits. So I can bring them down and these little leftover bits, except for time together, doesn't really work for what I have going on. I'll just put those three little bits to the side. I'm going to get all of these pieces tacked down and I'll be right back. So I've got those bits and pieces and I found these really pretty little leafy flare that I thought I would put in the centers of one and day because, you know, normally there would be a little cut out there. I know I could do it on the A as well, but they're just not as big. So executive decision for that little bit. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love, love the flare. Okay. So I have all of those little bits. Now, I think I'll find a couple of wordy bits to see if those will work in here. And aside from that, that'll be it. Let me find a couple little wordy bits. I will cut them out, tuck them in, and show you my finished layout. And that, my friends, is that. I tucked a couple of my little flaggy pieces into my floral clusters, and I think that this came out so cute. Look at all of that fun layering and my inky bits and all of that. So I'm going to have links down below for Erica's Close to My Heart shop, as well as her website where you can get your hands on all of these goodies. All right. Well, not these. Those are from my stash. Okay, guys, I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Actually, I will have the link for Scrap and Happy Studio down below as well. Okay. Bye for now, friends. Still shots to follow.